determined to make my own speaker. Can you hear me? Can it? Can it? There we go. I am determined to make my own speaker and I am really excited about it. One might say that I am amped. All right, let's get one thing straight. I am a nerd. <laughs> and I'm on a mission to create this standalone Spotify streamer using a Raspberry Pi Zero. If you're following along with my project, and if you have it, in the last video, we made an audio output for the Raspberry Pi Zero and hooked it up to some powered speakers. Now that's a pretty good project in itself, but let's go back to what I said earlier about me being a nerd. You're more than welcome to use some powered speakers, but I thought it'd be cool if I could make my own powered speaker. So hold on to your seatbelts, my little crash test dummies. We're about to crank it up to 11. So the key to making a powered speaker work is this little chip called an operational amplifier or op amp for short. So obviously from the name, it takes an audio input signal and amplifies it. The one that I have here is an LM386. Okay, cool. So now all we have to do is figure out how in the didgeridoo hoppers are we supposed to use this thing. After a little Google break, I found several options that seem relatively easy and should do the job. You'll find that there's several different schematics to choose from, but this is the one that I'm going with. So now that we know what direction we're going, let's gather all the parts to get us there. So aside from the op amp, we're also gonna need a 10K potentiometer. This is gonna be used for the volume, a 10 ohm resistor, a 1K ohm resistor, two 220 microfarad capacitors, and one 10 microfarad capacitor. And obviously you'll need a speaker. Now that we have all the parts, it's basically like a puzzle and we need to put them where they need to go. Since it would sound kind of ridiculous for me to give you a verbal play-by-play -play on this, I'm just gonna show you this step-by-step -step diagram that I used to put it all together. To test this whole thing out, I connected these wires to an audio input, these wires to the speaker, and these wires to a nine volt battery. And now all I have to do is play something and hopefully we'll hear it through the speaker. Front, center. And again, you can use the potentiometer to adjust the volume as necessary. Right. Center. Huh, that really wasn't as terrible as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's a fully functional working amplifier, which is really awesome, but it's stuck on a temporary breadboard, which is really not awesome. So the tricky part is gonna be to incorporate it into our already existing breadboard. And I can already tell you that it's not gonna integrate too easily into the circuit that I made in my last video. So I essentially scrapped that, resoldered the old parts onto a new breadboard, and then incorporated all the new parts into that same breadboard. And then I just connected the audio output from my last video circuit to the audio input of the op amp. Now power. I'm still not really sure how to do that. You could go with a nine volt battery, but just be careful not to mix that with the power of the Pi Zero. Or you could try to power it all from the Pi Zero, which may or may not be a good thing. Which one did I choose? Well, I decided to power it all from the Pi Zero, but I don't know if that's quite the best choice. I don't know if the five volts from the Pi Zero is gonna be enough to give us the power we need for a decent sound. However, I'm gonna save the power for another video because we also still need to add an LCD. And those will probably be in the same video. We'll just see. So if you wanna follow along with this project, please go to the project page and click the follow button. That way you can receive notifications every time the project is updated. What ideas would you like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch more videos like this, and if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to like, subscribe, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.